Phillips 350 Pro in the DJI Phantom 2. Uh, last time I did it, people were saying it was kind of biased towards the Walkira, so I wanted to go ahead and redo it with them both, perfectly calibrated. Uh, we're going to do the position hold as well as the return to home. It's a little windy, so we'll see how they compare with the wind. Now we're going to do the Phantom 2, the position hold, and then the return to home. Already right off the bat, it's a lot smoother with the wind than the walk here. Controller is just better quality to walk here in. Uh, you know, they changed a lot with the QRX 350 Pro, but they really didn't up their quality with it. That's a factor. Good return to home. It's been engaged. Is. I did put a black marker down. Pretty windy, but uh. It's actually a lot closer than it was last time on the uh, return to home. Uh, it was really bouncy though with the uh, position hold, so uh, it's a good thing, but the problems that it has, as of right now, I think the Phantom, better quality for the money. Alright, we'll go ahead and put it into return to home and we'll see uh, how accurate it is, uh, what happens when it comes home.
difference. You know, last time the walk here was closer at where it landed from where it took off. Uh, this time the Phantom was even a little further away. Uh, I'm gonna say that could have something to do with the wind or uh, I, mean, I don't know, honestly, but in terms of how close, unless you're really trying to land it in confined spaces, it really doesn't matter. I mean, it tells you not to do that anyway. So uh, besides the return to home being off just a little bit, I still think it is a, uh, I think it's a better all around quad uh, that's ready to fly. Um, you know, people say with the walk here, save some money and buy a new gimbal. If you do that, then you're still spending the same price as the Phantom 2. So what's the point? You can just buy the Phantom 2. It's got great quality builds. So uh, there you have it.